Welcome, this is morning. This morning is special. I'm gonna do just a tutorial for you guys. Uh, tutorial is um, good morning. I have a coffee. Yes, yeah, this, uh, I'm online. This is a part two of my Reaper gear. Uh, yeah, I, I finally found something shit like yesterday. Um, you know, I did a broadcast, and, and of course, YouTube do a copy and you know, save and put it in my video on YouTube and uh, watch it. And the sound was really not, uh, you know, the sound was worse, you know, this because of fucking setting, you know, uh, Google Hangout really important when you broadcast with special. Uh, you can broadcast in two kind of kind of sound mode. Okay, there's a voice in that studio mode, and I, I did the broadcast yesterday with in voice mode, and that sounds really worse. Check this out. I'll just share my screen there. Yeah, you do to uh, yeah. When you are in Hangout, there's an option there. Okay, the option is called yes. There are supposed you're supposed to hear me in better quality in the studio now. But yesterday I was in voice mode. And the sound like crap and I play guitar and drum and this This was a piece of shit. Okay. Uh yeah, I wanna see me. I wanna see me. Okay. So <clears throat> now it's time to uh present you uh my this since uh, two week or three weeks, uh, I switched from doll. Yeah, you know, remember the the last, um, the last, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the last, uh, the, the last post, um, uh, last video post on YouTube was about Reaper or FL Studio, and then I found all this goodness in Reaper since I discovered Reaper. There's a lot of you hear me more like that. Okay. So uh, since that, I uh, found, I think I'm approaching my microphone there. Oh uh, yeah. Warning. Okay. So that, that, so the sound today is supposed to be better. Okay, I uh, found about a Reaper. Um, found a goodness Reaper that is called, um, okay. I will explain more, okay. Uh, I did some online jamming with other Reaper user using a plugin inside called uh, by Crocos, you know, the, the creator of Reaper, Reaper creator. It's called Ninjam. I don't know why I seem like a I was supposed to be relocating there. Yeah. Called uh, Ninjam. And then uh, Ninjam is a cool plugin it, exclusive in Reaper that made people between uh, Reaper user to jam together online in real time. I did two experience with other mus musician, musician uh, with Reaper uh, doing cool jam, and then also there's a chat box on it. You can jam with other users on Reaper. So, that, so you guys, you, you switch Reaper one day. Maybe if you find me on Reaper uh, Ninja servers, and you can say uh, jam with me. This is really cool. Uh, maybe you can do a metal, uh, metal jam rather than this acid jazz jam. I did so, uh, some of acid jazz, jazz jam uh, with uh, on Ninja and with Ripper. That this that was really exciting. So this is a good experience. Can get nothing to do with music. Eh? Have a coffee. Sit down there. Coughing with coffee. That's too bad, you know. Okay, today I am on my old pal guitar. I do a revisited the uh, old plugin, you know, in 2011. I did some tutorial on FL Studio about Metallica stuff with using the the X30 M. And um, I see the re rewatch that the guy with the uh, do a tutorial for my. I don't remember the user on YouTube. I do a tutorial about. Um, what I did in the past in 2011. Oh, uh, oh. And then um, I revisit the TSC the X30M for Metallica or Greg, especially on Reaper. And now I, I get, um, as well as get now this new, can, can I, 
this new box for the Alpha Law Music now. I hit the 48 volt switch, okay? So this is um, the the MOGO Mobile Pre that I use now. Better quality and I can use the X30 really better than the past. I come back to get um, Today I use my guitar, the SG, uh, Epiphone SG. G300, the G300. And I do a real look this year. You know, remember, I was I get frame on the, you know, the, the Johnny Talica fine, fine V. Get frame, black frame around the black pickup. And I use the black frame, switch at my guitar. And that give you, that give it a good sexy look. Better than the past with the, with the frame do, uh, kind of, do kind of, you know, sexy big pickup. A uh, big black, black Sabbath look a little bit. I love, love this one, and and it is even better than the yeah, well, the ah, the next pound. Okay, fuck the filter. <laughs> Wait a minute, you got no space in this fucking. Uh, uh, I see a fucking filter, you know. Uh, yeah. Just wait a minute. Uh, what I say? What I say, what I say, what I say. Okay. So the past, uh, I really don't like to expose all the coil around the pickup. So I mean, with the frame, we can go in front. They're not change of sound, but they change the look. Uh, I really like the look better. So um, today, uh, sorry, uh, this is live. Cheers. Okay, now uh, share my screen. I do that on Google Plus. The reason why they do a hangout online tutorial because it's less complicated than do shooting with my camera, do an editing with the uh, you know, an edit with um, Sony Vegas Pro, and of course um, uploading this on YouTube with a 15-minute tutorial. You know, this is really long for me. I use an ADSL uh, internet. I speed internet connection is this okay now let's go to um, Reaper why I use Reaper yeah now uh, I'm not proud to announce you guys that now I'm switched to Reaper uh, share my screen <laughs> yeah there I'm switched to Reaper because I'm really proud <coughs> I love Reaper for the interface I love the Reaper for the you know the, the basic uh, you know can of multi-track uh, can I can I can I, can I? multi-track uh, just like um, I can say Reaper is a goodness of um, the timeline base and the time stretching uh, yeah of course the time stretching for the audio and MIDI as well so uh, my microphone oh going shit there okay okay so uh, I will do this um, some basic I use now so According to this, this last week, um, I use Reaper now and I put FL Studio at the second uh, that I use. Yeah, before the FL Studio was at the first position and now eh, go to the next. I maybe I delete this one. <laughs> go home! Go home, FL Studio, goodbye! Okay. So uh, Reaper is now my doll. And I'll show you some um, comeback of Metallica stuff. So um, okay, open a new, new tracks, new tracks. No, not in plural. Uh, track I'm like, got my guitar there, of course. Uh, now this is the last, the the the, the, the last setting for Metallica. We're using only uh, from uh, Kill 'Em All to Master Puppet to uh, Ride the Lightning, anyway. So. Uh, I use drums, of course. Well, I started off with a guitar, okay? Step by step, and not the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I'll go to my favorite plugin. Okay, yeah, first I, I use um, a Regate. But yeah, there's a, for a gate, you get a lot of choice, you know? Uh, DX, I uh, got a lot of VST there. Uh, gate. Yeah, there's the G G G G G, G gate. That looks really cool, really simple, 
really optimized for the guitar with the threshold. Okay, it looks like I'm getting the monitor there. Okay, I'll turn on the monitor, turn on the recording. Yeah, I used um, I used the D4 3.0 uh, team because uh, the default theme of um, Reapers looks like this. <coughs> yeah, that's a cool look. And uh, that uh, the sliders mixer look uh, a little bit great as well. Well, yeah. Um, I will delete this track. Well, I prefer personally, uh, yeah, the power look, you know, layout, where it's what action next, but the option, uh, the full 3.0 with the cool look like that. So this is really look like, I don't know, like the Pro Tools that look something. So, um, example of, okay, I can use a, can use a regate or you can also use, uh, can also use the, um, this is not a regate. This is the G gate. Okay. Uh, this is a free plugin you can download on the web from a gvst.com.uk. It's a cool, cool, simple, uh, noise gate for the guitar, optimized for the guitar. You can also use the, the regate of, as well. Uh, regate, uh, with default, default, uh, setting as well. So, uh, you can also monitor the, the guitar as well. The both are really cool. But I will use the G gate. Okay, we're not Red Ripper. You can use the G gate. This is one of the gates, great gate you can get on free on the web. But I can also use um, the re gate from inside. You know, something's really cool. Reaper. Another thing I really love in Reaper. First, the install file. Okay, the install file only weighs seven megabyte. And when you go to update, is there an update? Uh, well, check it, check it. No update available. It's only got, the last update is the version 4.602. When you go to update, you download the update and it's downloaded so fast. And when you install the software, it installed in 12 to 14 seconds compared to other than any other dog. This is really, that's what I love Reaper. And Reaper can be so installed in the compact Party portable. Party Sorry for my fucking English, okay? Portable. There's a portable version of uh, you can install for the Reaper as well. Okay, uh, you're, you're gonna use the Regate there. But um, we explain more, okay, with uh, a new template this year, last week. Uh, let's go. I started off with Ride the Lighting Gear. explain more okay so I do Metallica gear Metallica gear template on the Reaper I can use that as well as an hard rock template a lot of template this year so this year this week uh, hard rock I did a hybrid bridge with a hybrid ham John, uh, John sketch audio yeah we're gonna use you Reaper now to do my sketch or junkie show and I'll do a Justice, Met Met Metallica Justice, Metallica Puppet, Michael Grider's, and we're gonna transform each other, okay? And so just, okay. Uh, okay, first I use the drum, uh, discover the, the, the audio, SFZ is the one of the greatest audio player, I'm gonna explain more about it. I uh, use um, sound found, this is the greatest sound found player. So if you could turn it up. I play it on the keyboard. Otherwise, I have the guitar. I got on. The, I'm on the ride of lightning. I'll turn another money. Okay, I'll explain more about the lighting. <coughs> sorry, I got... Oh, sorry for my nose, you know. Okay. Uh, I put this, uh, the RGZ Audio. Uh, there's a great soundphone player, Stereophonic. You can download stereo soundphone with a... Okay, now you cannot hear in stereo the result because I get uh, only a microphone input. You know, my, my M-Audio device is plugged in the microphone in my laptop. And my laptop don't, doesn't have 
have a line input stereo unfortunately of course well I can hear all the Tom is pl Tom drum is placed and trash on the panning of stereo and the velocity is really cool as well so okay let's explain and also put that re EQ on that uh, cut a little bit the bass because I will explain more about it and secondly, I found a, a perfect clone of the f f uh, sound goodizer found in the FL Studio. You know, FL Studio got a sound goodizer and <laughs> exactly the same fucking knob, the same fucking uh, preset on it uh, with default press setting. You can put. I'll play the drum. So this is put that on the master track. And this do the job like a mastering. Uh, really, this is my secret weapon, and I'm, I'm really proud to found a clone of my secret weapon from the NFL studio. Uh, the Sungo Dizer got the clone Yu Wei Shark. Yu Wei Shark. This is the secret weapon, the weapon I can now use another doll, and that's really cool. And uh, that's what and now I can move to Reaper really easily. That I found my secret weapon and clone and use a, a Reaper as well. Okay, the right I think I so use the plugin uh, really often plugin series classic reverb classic from Kai Kjarus Audio. I don't know Kjarus Audio. This is a set of free plugin that's called Classic Chorus, Classic Reverb, Classic Delay, Classic <coughs> Sorry. And now I do that on the mix. To do uh, uh, with the 80 snare, 80 snare preset, and that do the perfect drum like that. Without this, it sound like. With this, it sound like. So uh, for the right light thing, I put that. I put this reverb on all, all the mix. That's really cool. And now for the guitar. Yeah, I'm coming back with my old friend the X30. Because uh, I found it really useful, really versatile uh, preamp guitar preamp that you be, can be used. Uh, can be used on any from Killer Mountain and Justice Fall from the Black Album. Only with using this default setting, that's would really be cool. So I use a regate for the noise gate, a classic chorus. Yeah, this is another for Crashier Audio. I use the X30 in stereo mode and uh, to do the stereo phonic uh, rhythm guitar I input this with a classic chorus with the lead guitar chorus uh, preset so it sound okay but for me it sounded stereo but for you it sounded mono for right now man without this And with this, it sounds like. So this is a setting. I use that in Curious. I use the TSC X30. Uh, there's a two version of the TSC X30 when downloaded. There's a, the, the um, you know the, the Sylvania one and the tra the other one. I don't know. Never remember the name. The second one, um, okay. Uh, the Krasier Studio. I don't know. So um, don't use the Sylvania one, okay? <laughs> so it's a two preamp. So with this amp, you don't need a pedal, um, a tube screamer overdrive, because it's really do ready for metal as well for the palm. You're just like that. This is this plugin is really magic. It's a good reproduction of um, not a German, maybe a British M. Free of that. And of course, uh, okay, this is a setting for the two preamp for right the lighting. Input by default drive around um, to ten o'clock, nine o'clock. Bass default, low mid default, I mid a little bit. I mid. Yeah, there's a low mid and I mid. This is European. This this is a British way of EQ. Okay. 
Treble to Defo, I gain of course, but without I gain it sounds like... If you want to do a pure crunch tone, it sounds like... So you want to do a pure crunch tone more... Good. So more like hard rock or something. So um, do the drive there, put the I gain, and then... Uh, Okay, put the input to one because uh, my my friend is there. You wait, Shaq, amplify the volume off of this. Okay, this is really, that's why the, why the, the this plugin is really magic for that. Uh, and I put in stereo mode because I you know use the uh, input the uh, classic chorus on it to do the stereo guitar. Trafo, I don't know what is this, but I leave this off. And now for the impulse repons, yeah. <laughs> This is my new impulse repons, third party impulse repons that you use now. It's for Inuit M. This is really awesome. It's a zero latency convolver. Uh, convolver. That's a impulse repons. A convolver. Impulse repons is what you load on it. And this is called Nadar. Nadar. Yeah. Forget about Kefir. You go to Inuit, Inuit, Inuit M's and everything's uh, put. Maybe I'll put after the, the show, the, this broadcast, the link below for that. Uh, so zero latency convolver is a dual. You can also use dual mono, mono, dual mono. When you use a dual mono, only work with this one, but in stereo bus. So, and when you once you load, uh, okay, once you load uh, one of the impulse repons on it, you click there and get access to all like a menu to all the impulse repons on it. On the on the same folder that's really cool so uh, and I go of, of course uh, if I work in stereo I can work with two impulse reports at the same time the one uh, okay this one is panning to the right but can panning to the left if you want you can put a delay of it you can turn off turn it off okay and there I got the diary from impulse report for uh, the impulses fall and write the lighting at the same time uh, Okay, sorry to jamming, but there was no time. So uh, I'll come back to dual mono. So dual mono, there's only this one work in stereo input. So that's really cool. Okay, I got the right lighting. So this is a setting for rider lighting. And for the drum, I use the same thing. Okay, the fact that they cut on the drum with the EQ there is because um, the bass drum takes a lot of mix. Without this, prefer cut a little bit the bass drum. Of course, when you do a fast, you know, with the fast beat like that. Okay, I got to turn around the monitor because I hear, you can hear my clean guitar. So like that, um, so I use the only one band EQ like that, so enable, enable, okay, this is for, this is a cool equalizer, that remember, remember me, a some kind of equalizer, there's, there's some stuff on Reaper that really remember me, uh, Sony Vegas. Yeah, Sony Vegas is my um, DVW, my DVW, DVW for editing my video, of course. And there's a lot of reference on my, um, you know, uh, Reapers, uh, um, Sony Vegas, about, you know, just by seeing that, just see, check that. This is the stretching cursor, just like Sony Vegas, yeah. Can I do if you hit the ALT, there's a hand up here, and then you kind of stretch along the, you know, <laughs> this is really cool. You can also do the same thing with audio clip, as well as the tempo, and everything is stretching in real time uh, on the tempo compared to FL Studio. When you do that on FL Studio, FL Studio time to take an hang out to calculate and re-stretch all the clip. But <laughs> something's really cool with Reaper, it stretch in real time just like in Sony Vegas. So th that's why I switched to Ripper. So um, 
Oh yeah, so this is the guitar um, for the guitar input, the uh, input the line in, and uh, of course um, you can do exactly. You got multi, you know, multi uh, option to record. You can record uh, the input just like we, we did in, in Cubase. So it record the guitar clean direct guitar input as audio clip, or you do exactly like I do in FL Studio usually. Record the output stereo okay for example you do a, a, a record something you can do the metronome i'm going to use the drum for, uh, so okay start it up oh shit <laughs> i have to turn off the record for lost drum just i just want arm the record for the guitar so, uh, so ready to record Okay, normally you can do multi-take with multi-layer, just like in Cubase. But I can't think, do to, um, see if you do to uh, the, pr the setting, loop recording, I set the loop recording, set in loop recording, discard incomplete first and last take if at last one loop was re recorded, full loop was recorded. Without this, normally by default, this option is not on, so. Check this out, this option is not on. Start recording. Okay, do you see that? Just like in Cubase, multi-take recording. So yeah, I got can switch from take to another. This is the first take, last take, and this is the first complete take. But I want that, so I can, I can choose. I want to choose the first one there. So do a show the first one, I can right click there and do take, and then crop active take. But you know, I'm a guy that love a uh, keyboard shortcut, ALT, Shift, and T. So show the good take I want, ALT Shift T, really faster. Okay, now a setting, I set that the record output. So people will compla complain that the sound will sound like crap like that. Why is that? Really simple. I record the output with all the process for the FX. So, it play back on that track and then reprocess now the effects. So two layer effect. So each time I record a guitar and drag and drop to another track without effects. But okay, if I turn off the effects it sound like So this is why it sounded crap. So you drag and drop another track. So I made a different track with different color, rhythm guitar, like guitar two, guitar one. So you try to record, right? This, this track is made for recording. <clears throat> and then I drag and drop another without a fixed track designed for the guitar and uh, give a name and that's, that's all, let's go. So um, I got a perfect loop there. <laughs> I can do a monitor is on, I can do a jam. Oh, I found it, I found it really interesting there. So I started recording, I'm ready to record. Okay, I'll keep the first take there, hit the shift T, drag and drop, and I go off, drop that to the guitar. So 
So without the plug-in uh, U-Ray Shark, it sounds like that. So this is my te technique I use now from Drew Sound. I do some loop where I can copy and pass. Okay, when I say real-time stretching, it's a real-time stretching. Okay, just like in Sony Vegas, a pro transition. So if I change the tempo to 180, for example, stretch in real time. As well as slow motion as well. Really fast. Okay, 120. <laughs> okay, this is really silly, this one. I really love the real-time stretching. This this really not existing in FL Studio. When you do the time stretching, you can do that in FL Studio, but FL Studio you will get you uh, process time and, and you have to wait. And this is that's what this sucks. That's what Reaper is really better for that. So this is my technique of recording. Now we do switch for different, uh, rather than switch di directly uh, project template, I ch just change the setting in front of you guys. So now I go to Master Puppet, okay? Master Puppet, first the reverb is not applied on the full mix. So I'm gonna delete the reverb there. I'm gonna use the same sound found ultimate drum say the sound from the ultimate drum with the same EQ and I will add, I will add um, my one of my favorite lists uh, classic reverb and put of course the preset uh, 80 snare so the this there the the the, 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 the uh, sorry this is life um, you know, I'm usually a French speaker. If this, 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 I, I don't, I try to think in English. I'll speak to you. Now. So, I uh, put the reverb only on the drum, so I get that kind of kind of clean, uh, direct light, right to light, and guitar tone. Okay, the only change for Master of Puppet, I change the right to lighting. I go to Puppet Impulse Response. Okay, and now for the master puppet, I use the same same thing, but the setting with the is really different. So I cut the drive to around one, because the master puppet is really more crunchy tone than jet jet. It's more jet 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 than jet jet. Okay, master puppet, I cut a little bit the I made just right there a little bit. Leave the all the all the all setting by default. The I gain, etc. Hey, we go back to the chat. Is there something in the chat? Someone? Someone? No, no, I am just okay. Come back. So, this is the tone of Master Puppet with the M setting. Puppet impulse response from Metallica impulse response pack. Uh, we'll put a link below later because now I'm live. And I got the sound of Master Puppet. Okay, uh, put that at 100 beat per minute, something like that. Uh, wait, maybe I put a little bit more D for mid. Right, it's really better. So.
So I got Master Puppet. And of course this works as well as the other impulse weapons for Master Puppet, for example, um, Battery. So. So, really, the TSX is really universal for Metallica rigs. That's really, I, I, okay, now we're gonna transform this in Justice for All. So I got a change of drum. Um, real cute. Okay, I change a drum set. I will load. Um, okay, I will load my personal and Justice for All I made myself. Uh, load the sound found. It's called B J L Metallica Justice Drum. Yeah. But this time we're going to turn off the reverb. I'll turn off the reverb, I'll do the radio cue. Maybe I need the radio cue. Yeah, we'll leave. Maybe do a, put the EQ, cut a little bit. Do a little room for the bass. I'm all around this. Okay. And I'm gonna change the impulse weapons. So, um, oh yeah. Uh, first, I change the impulse weapons to, of course, a blackhead. And okay, find the justice fall. Um, Sam setting is more gain like that around uh, 11 o'clock. Base be the retro about by default. Yeah, I got it. Uh, wait, <coughs> maybe let's gain a little bit. Maybe a little bit more, maybe less bass a little bit. So check this out. Oh, interesting, that that. Sorry, I got to switch off the monitor to play my guitar because you gear. You know you hear my clean guitar at the same time. This is, I got the monitor switch on my MLD so, uh, so to talk to you I have to turn it on. Uh, 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 okay, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, so this is a thing for um, then just as fall. Really by default like that. Maybe you can put more bass on it because it... Ah, too much bass. You know, don't put bass by default because when you put, you know, you put the your way shock really is really a big. Of course, I use always the setting A, the set A because um, it really uh, excite the bass frequency, excite the high frequency, and enlarge the mid fre mid frequency. Without this, you know the difference. So that's that's why this uh, this sound really. Uh, professional, like that. Okay, I can do a, I will do a little justice riff like that, um, 160, 180 beat per minute. Oh yeah, black it. <laughs> I really like the fi final stuff. Okay. So uh, it's always this setting for it and just so it works as well, always for the other impulse weapons for the same album. Um, what's it? Frantic Diary? Alright, check this one. <laughs> A little bit 
not too loud. <laughs> This is uh, the Justice Fall. Uh, okay, I'll try another one with. Uh, I did Master Puppet, I did Red Lighting. Um, I will try this one. Oh, come back. Um, Red Lighting, and uh, this is another Harvester of Sorrow as well. <laughs> This is the primary. Uh, okay, now I will try to reproduce now the right lighting tone. Uh, no, I did. <laughs> Sorry, I did. Kill them all. Kill them all. Use a more crunchy tone with less gain like that. So I can put more bass on it because uh, the, the impulse weapons don't have any bass. Cut the mid. And of course. Uh, turn off the reverb on the drums and put a reverb on the entire mix. So, um, uh, classic reverb just before the you wish, not I said before the first, first, okay, put the reverb, okay, and opposed, I put the 80 snare preset and a sound like that. Maybe if you put a little bit more mid on it, just a little bit slight down mid. Yeah, more like that. And change the drum to do the same drum as I used uh, last. Uh, you load, um, load the ultimate drum. This is all freeware SFTU in my collection. Oh, so you have to find that using on Google ultimate drum dot SF2 you're gonna find it whatever a, I don't remember the the you know the, 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 the website it's come to this so I'll just go jamming for the right the lighting I think I gotta just cut the bass on the drum there. Give more bass drum, give too much rage. Uh, what to say? More gain on that for the guitar. That sound a little bit like that. Those classic. Okay, not really long time and I'll play the Metallica. 
Okay, now we're going to use that uh, transform to get our tone for. Uh, we're going to try uh, Mentor Sandman. Okay, uh, change a little bit for that. Cut the bass. Uh, leave the low mid, high mid, treble. Gain on that, gain to around, just like in Justice Fall. I'm going to try this one. Okay, and, um, for the drums, uh, maybe I don't apply a mixer, please. I don't apply classic reverb on the entire mix, but reverb on drums. And slow, uh, better. I want to play enter salmon. Okay, and change the. I use a um, change the drum to. Um, Trauma Rockstar, maybe? Nah. Of course, Lars Ulrich used Trauma drums. Um, maybe, maybe, what's the way they go? Are good, are drug, good at drug drums? Nah, that's what, that's what. That's what. Yeah, this is, the, the, but the, 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 the snare is not the good one. This was supposed for this maybe the setting for that. Um, um, we should change front pulse response. Um, sad but true. Drop E. Too much time, yeah, don't play that. Okay, so this is my setting from Metallica. If you can enjoy this with the uh, same rig, the same... So, um, this is for, for Metallica. They're representing now my project template is for Johnny the Perda. I come back to... Come back to the uh, normal tuning. It's called the Hard Rock Brit, the Hard Rock Brit Full. That's the reason why I Brit because of the amp. I use this. Uh, I use uh, the same thing, but I use the hybrid from the pulling hybrid. Uh, I use the PLS channel. Don't I don't use pedal. Only pure amp, pure crunch tone. Uh, PLS mode, full input, full drive. Full PLS contour based around this middle cut, uh, treble there, uh, power ammo used there, uh, low. Let's put that, you know, in FS Studio, in FS Studio it reached around 70, 60, 70 percent CPU. You know, it's really different in CPU between the uh, Reaper and FS Studio is really awesome. Stereo mode, so it sounds like. Oh yeah, I think I got the vocal track on it, so I can switch the vocal track. Oh yeah, can you see me? Uh, so, you know the, 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 you know the, um, what is say? The UA Shack do a great job <coughs> for the vocal as well for the guitar. So to do the plastic river to be the uh, 80s snare so I can jam with this. This is the Johnny Blipper Project yeah. yeah 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 I'm coming back you know what I'm back I'm back in the saddle again I this is another roast meal This is what Weezer is, because that. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. I use a uh, impulse weapons uh, fifty. Okay, I got a collection. This is a, a special di directory for the Marshall nineteen sixty A. Uh, complete Marshall, different microphone, and also use uh, the six, seven, six, 57B microphone at plus two from the center. Oh, anyway, this one is really. I can switch for different. Cool crunch tone. Uh, I, I really love that plus two, see, 57 B plus two. This is a great collection. This is free. It's called the Marshall 1960A collection. This is a free impulse response for the Marshall. I really use this often. Okay, for my vocal, I use uh, my old pal the ADT. Without this, I sound like that. Okay. So, okay, this is cool. The ADT produce a double voice, a tape delay bubble voice. Just, ah, so you can sing better, just like the rock star in the 1980s. And I use the Kero V uh, as a tuner with one octave up, mix it together to do back vocal in the chorus. Yeah. So, this is the sing with that. This is really silly like that. Uh, without that, just my voice is just like sound like like that. Yeah. Okay, I can do, um, I should change the, I should change, I should change the pitch of the voice, it's just, uh, oh, uh, whoa, yeah. It's just more, oh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, kind of funny. A funny, funny unit. Okay, this is, this is got a funny change to sing, you know, the, the, the rock star. It's so nice to be seen, you can see the shit. Maximum, and I got a song. The sound, okay. Like a little microphone on the. the, 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 the. I So this is my rig for this. I'm gonna come back. New project. Okay, to explain more. Well, I am there. To explain more a little bit, um, uh, I really found the best sound phone player, SFZ. That's this one is really cool. I used it. I really recommend to use that one time. Okay. 
Uh, some people will use that and say, first time to say, okay, by default, it comes with SF2 mode. Don't use that mode. Use PR32. Because SF2 sound found, I don't know what, you load the sound found and you do that crap. There's not enough memory to load the selected sound found. What the fuck? I got four fucking gigabyte of RAM on my laptop and this is, okay. So go to PR32, re import that. And now you can load that drum. Everything going fine. So I use that for drums, stereophonic drum. But if you don't use that in multi instance, okay, for example, the only issue with that, if you do that multi instance, it makes a loud noise bug and then make uh, the fact the Reaper will mute the track. So, a record at one track. Oh, oh that's so bad. That's hurt. No. Okay. The other, the other track there, okay. So I gotta record the track for the other SFZ, for example. You know what's happened? Yeah, there. I have to remove the track because SFZ is not able to function in multi-instance. So if you want the sound sound player to do work in multi-instance, use a mon mono, ordinary, normal. I use the DSK SF2 sound sound player Really cool one, monophonic one. Monophonic with a uh, really cool, cool delay stereo effect on it. You can cut this. Good, good velocity. Uh, I mean, uh, sample mapping as well as volume. So that's really cool. This one can be used in multi instance. So this is an example that use that. There's a template called. My string orchestra. Yeah, my string orchestra. I use one, two, three, four DSK. One for the contrabass, one for the cello, one for the viola. Each one got a panning, different panning, all mixed on the on the stereo <coughs> reverb. And the result of that, they play all together. The example of that mixer, please. Okay, that was a little bit glitch because of the broadcast uh, Google Hangout. So I can record an individual without problem, read recording. Real sex subject. Okay, this is a Kraft Kraftwerk song. Yeah. So let's see that multi instance of DSK SF2. No problem. No bug. No fuck. So cool. Perfect. So I will use this string setting for Fuber song. I'm gonna make Fuber make Fuber this one. <laughs> Use this set for folder set as well. And you want to chat? No, only me. I'm not still live. So this is my uh, why I do now trip to Reaper 6.2. Uh, okay, I will share in you recent project with camera a little scoop with caramel for a new song and do now on Reaper. Um, just a little bit. Okay, this is a scoop. Okay, there's a problem to loading something. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I am Carol Fanny. Okay, but I can't turn it off. What the fuck? Okay, turn my... Are we still there? Okay, this is a... So this is the last project with Carol Fanny. Uh, okay, for this time, I use a, f you know, there's a way to link a MIDI to vocal uh, Kerovi. Let's see. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'll turn it off. Uh -huh. 
Funny. Okay, so um, the way for that is use. I put a ref an effect and do a output, output recording, record output stereo of this, and I put a curve V. I want the curve V to be controlled by MIDI, but that, that's, I got the input line in MIDI already. What I like to do is to open a new channel, a new track, disable recording. Open the monitor record, open on the monitor. And then what you have to do, do a MIDI input, of course. Yeah. And what you have to do is to drag to the vocal record one, but you see that there's a blue line that really short when you do far from the right. When we do that from the right like that, the MIDI, the name MIDI, uh, the channel I want to control is now the children of vocal record. So now I can control and do. The camera V can be controlled, troll it, just like that. When the MIDI input there. So I can, I can, this expense the one that do one track, just like that. Okay. <laughs> Try not. <clears throat> So you can see, uh, this is what I use now. This is all my tricks. So um, guys, it's time to log off. I come back to you, my webcam. Yo, webcam, I say. I am there. You're there. You. I want to webcam. Oh, you're in there. <laughs> so now it's time to log off. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I don't know how many times he broadcast since uh, this morning. Drink my coffee. I got hard there. Still uh, use all my other guitar, the Fender Stratocaster and the Fender now. Rods and Stratocaster made in China as well. So I hope you enjoyed this live cast tutorial. I uh, don't know if there's uh, any comment below. I will read the comment just after the broadcast. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for, so next time I do tutorial, I'll do live cast on Google Plus like that. It's really simple because uh, when you do when I do a pre-made video, I have to upload this on YouTube. And when, if the the, the, the tutorial uh, wait 15 minutes or more, it's really long to upload on YouTube. So live broadcast YouTube record this and process this it's just like right that. So thanks for watching. See you next time for another live gear with Bruno, uh, PJ online. Cheers.